Well, on the last Business Bite, I shared about uh, the power of a vision uh, as part of the power of being a leader. So that was number one. This week, I want to share number two, and that is getting into agreement. We live our lives often from a power of disagreement rather than agreement. You, you achieve a lot more. You can get your, your leadership really functioning well. You can build business. You can build relationships when you get in a power of agreement. Uh, one of the early centuries authors and pastors and preacher, A.W. Tozer, said you can't tune a hundred pianos with each other. You have to tune each one of the individual hundred pianos to a tuning fork. Because when you tune with each piano, you can't actually get the tune right. And I'm going to ask you, who are you tuning your life with? Who are you tuning your business ideas with? Who are you tuning developing your relationships with. If it's with negative people, that's what's gonna come out in everything you say and do and how you react. So you need to have someone that's at a different level to you, that maybe has a lot more experience and is positive about life, that you're getting input, that you're tuning yourself with. If you tune yourself with family and friends, uh, similar business people, that's the level you're gonna to rise to. And to rise above that, you need to tune yourself to the right people. So the media is not a great place to be tuning your life and your business ideas uh, to. And uh, for those that are involved in a relationship with God, if you're tuning your life with Him, you're gonna build your relationships to a whole new level than with people at a similar level. So we need to get in agreement if we're going to build a business. and. In my advertising days and Gloria Jean's days, I often had to get people in the same department to get together. And I used to say, look, we need to get on the same page. And then I stopped and said, no, no, I've got this all wrong. We've got to get in the same book, then on the same page, because they were all operating with different themes, different ideas, different vision, different anything. And we need to be in agreement if we're gonna move this business forward. When we got in agreement, we saw some powerful answers to things. We saw powerful results coming through. And a leader gets people to work in agreement. So don't live your life from a power of disagreement, but by a place of agreement, because people get ruled by what they disagree on. And you know, being in agreement has a common focus. It's not weakness or compromise, and it values people. So focus on the good things. So that's number two, get a power of agreement. Number three, you need to get what I call the law of buy-in. And I think that's how John Maxwell often refers to it. You need to get people to buy in uh, to where you're going with the vision, the plan, the business, and your family in terms of relationship. Where do we want to go as a family? And, and people need to buy in and be on as I said in the previous point on the same page, there's a, there's a, a, a great idea that <laughs> it was in the advertising days and I took over as managing director the last two years. Uh, we had 200 people in our office and everyone was going different directions. So I called the key people together and we developed a vision and a plan of where we wanted to go. And then I said, this is great, we're all in agreement, but how do we get the rest of the 200 people in agreement? So we worked the strategy of taking them away by department with an outside moderator for half a day and shared the vision and what they thought were the barriers to achieving uh, this vision. And they came up with ideas and thoughts. And we worked at all these and we presented back to everyone the vision and plan and the, the barriers and how we were overcoming those barriers and strategies and plans to do it. And I look back after two years and the agency had the most phenomenal results in terms of profitability, retention of staff, growth in people, growth in clients. Every client, we, potential client we submit, submitted for, we won, which was unheard of in the advertising agency. So when you get the law of buy-in, you can move forward. So uh, next week in the Business Bite, I'll be sharing number four and number five points on how you can have the power of leadership.